the thing. <clears throat> we are back in the game, and here we go. Okay, whew, so just got back home from visiting my parents, where my quest to not ingest flour and gluten has failed because my mom made strudel with apples and cherries. And that was, you know, a temptation too great to pass up. Okay, let's see what's happening in the game. I haven't played in a week. And we need to figure out what to do where. We have extraction over here. We have raid transport. Melkor, hello, hello. Look at that. You have like an elf. Looks like a little elf emoji thingy to me. Based on your character, I assume. Uh, okay, so we're not doing that. Uh, they're reinforcing the region. It's going back to three. What are we doing? We're waiting for Liberation 3 to pop up so that we may do it. Yes, yes. Other than that, we open this region where strength is four. And we are recruiting to get more guys. Okay, and then nothing else. Here, strength is six. But this can be superbly over infiltrated. So we're hoping for that to work out. Intel is 42. Okay, so currently we have no mission that I see that we could do. Let me just go to black market. I'm not sure if we have stuff to sell. Let's see. Perception, advanced stock, advanced suppressor, agility. Yep, we could sell that. Hair trigger. Eh, it's kind of okay, actually. Regular stock. Advanced uh, packing we don't need. Uh, regular autoloader, one conditioning. I'll keep that. 14 cores, speed. Okay. Oh, 25. 25 bucks. Okay, that's something. So I guess now we just go to heal faster while we wait for something to pop up. That is the plan. We are also doing combat armor in four days. Okay. Officer complete. Okay, you're done. Do we have another officer we could use? To train. Do, do, do. Yes, we do. So we have second lieutenant silencer, second lieutenant optimist. Uh, let's put optimist in. So incoming it is, boom. And keep on keeping on. It's a hundred. Thirteen to fifteen. Okay, so keep over infiltrating. See what happens. New target four and eight. Oh they are sending a UFO to this region. Project Miranda, come on. Really? Even with a boost, it would be six days. Six days, that would be five guys. Five guys against 13 to 15 on Project Miranda. No thank you. So that means they're going to reinforce this region insanely. Oh well. Aha! Uh -huh. More machinery cleared. Now, power is at 14 to 16, and that means empty, empty, empty. Machinery, machinery, machinery. So, in order to make a lab, we would need to dig towards one of these things. That means, well, it, it's basically the same. So, let's see. This one is 50, 20, 55, 19. Yeah, again. Pretty much the same. Uh, what we need to make next is infirmary. And for that we would need more... Ah, workshop. 100 supplies. We have exactly 100 supplies. So if we made a workshop... We are at 3 engineers. If we dumped $100 into workshop... We could then with drones boost... Power and also resistance ring uh, 
However, that's all the money that we have. Can we make something with this money? Let's see. Arc blades. We don't have any more corpses. Hey, Nards. Hello, hello. We could make a laser rifle, but we already have five. And we have five arc blades and tempest gauntlets. You know what? I think five, five rifles is going to do for now. Let's do this. On the other hand, yeah, I can't build anything without the, the thing. And then if I put in the engineer, we're not swimming in engineers. That, that's a fact. So I guess this is a good strategic... Oh, we still have to do Proving Ground. Damn. And then Proving Ground later, we could build it here. And then we could use drones to do Proving Ground as well. Like, the only thing to come out of Proving Ground right now would be better ablatives. We can't... Nah, I feel like we need to make the workshop. Okay, we'll put in the engineer. And the other engineer can start digging over here. For the time being, just a little bit. Okay. Workup up, hi. Target acquired. It's again here. Eight and nine. Liberation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen to eighteen. We're not liberating this region. This is kind of insane. This one is a thirteen to fifteen. Ish. Combat armor. Boom. So now we can make plated armor. Better armor. We can't do anything because I just spent all the money. Next thing would be battle armor. 50 supplies. Uh, I could sell some cores, I guess. So let's resume this and then go sell some cores. I guess three cores for now. Boom. Metal armor. Come on, guys, we're waiting for liberation. Uh, 10 to 12. Must launch or abort. <laughs> 10 to 12. Who do we have here? Arc blade. Arc blade. Laser rifle. Laser rifle. Okay, 10 to 12. That's for a scientist. Uh, yes, we will do it. City center reveal start. <laughs> Resistance contacts. Okay. So reinforcements will come quickly. We need to be super aggressive. Because it is strength six region. Up a weak from this area. The so it's we gotta be modes. quick. We're moving in to provide an emergency extraction. We'll need to secure the area and escort the VIP to the evac point. Stay alert for hostile contacts. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. The building, the building, the building. Where do we climb? Over there is a ladder, and that means ladder over here. End of the map. Okay, and then other alternative is the other side where probably. Yeah, there's probably the leather over there and over there. We are here. This is the end. So if we. Yeah, everything's going to be in our path, I feel. 
if we go a little bit to this side, uh huh, I think, I think this is leather. Okay, so that means we can climb the building over here. Okay, we'll go a little bit to the left and approach like this. Oh, well, Revno, you join us early. That's a rare treat. Yeah, let's go. Just as I make the first move with your character. Cool, cool, cool. So there's a snake and two guys. We will slice you next turn, guys. We will slice you next turn. Okay, you have the thing. You have the arc blade. And so does Ian. Dola, you're the officer, you can hide over there. And Colin Revno can go here. You let's say let's let's keep you here for a little bit extra damage. And now with you, if we don't want to activate them, this is going to be tricksy. You know what? I feel like we can just keep you in the open. They won't shoot you, they're not on alert or anything. See you and there's nowhere intelligent I can put you, so let's just put you in in the open and then they activate on you, go on Overwatch or whatever, and then we just kill them. That's the plan. Nope, they go away. They go all the way away. Hmm, that sucks. But if they would see you, they would probably come back. Bin auf dem Weg. Feindliche Einheiten entdeckt. Oh, okay. So now that is seven enemies. So if that's seven enemies, that means there's only five on this side. I'm pretty sure I saw four. Yeah, so four and three, that's seven. Uh, this pod will move in this direction, but this <coughs> hmm. will these guys come back? I don't know. But you they don't see you and you losing concealment they would need to flank you and they can't flank you because there's a car over here so that means if we shoot the thingy the gas station can activate that other pod somebody could do it from here all in Remno is too far away I think so only Ian could do it. But how do we deal with the snake then? We don't know where it is. Would it be caught in the blast? Potentially, because we can see that the snake is not on these tiles, so that, that gives us an opportunity, like that snake is actually over there. We might even see it with Ian. We don't. Well, I said we have to be aggressive and that will only get one guy, but potentially the snake as well for six. It will put <clears throat> this pod on alert. But I guess that's okay. And then if something comes closer... Huh, yeah, we can't really go in for a slice because we'll activate. Oh well, maximum aggression as promised. Here we go. I think the snake... Was hit. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Okay, so... 
This is line of sight blocking, but if we come here, won't be. Okay, and that means we have one command. Palin Revno would run all the way over here and then be commanded to kill the snake. Uh, do we want to blow our command this early? I see... I don't see why not. Uh, what can you do with your arc blade? You could slice, but that would activate. Your phone is in a place where you will never find it. You, we, we would never think to look there. But think, what's the last place that you would look your phone for? Come back in five minutes. This unfortunately uh. activates. Yeah, we can't really activate. So I think we're just gonna blow our command. Pepe, hello. We will blow our command on Palin Revno. I'm on my way. Shooting the snake. And then the sectoids can do whatever. We'll just kill them next turn. Or flashbang them next turn. And we'll be okay. So Bundolo, from here you you are relatively close and safe from spotting and you can command Paladin Revno. Heading there now. So let's do that. Hundred percent. Boom dead. Okay. In the end, people get what they deserve. People get what they deserve. So you won't do anything. And we want you to be relatively close for a slice next turn. So let's just put you there and then you can go here and hunker. And then you, um, I'm just going over watch, I guess. Okay, so this one runs all the way back and, <laughs> okay, double moves, he does nothing. And this sectoid will now do a thing. Get me out of here, okay. That other pod on yellow alert tools away. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So where is this sectoid? He is over here. Now, let's see. We have you. Who is buddies with Bundolo. That means if you... Go and slice the sectoid. Bundolo can get you out of there with a movement command. Can you kill a sectoid? 8 to 10. It's not guaranteed. Alternatively, Bundolo, do you have more damage? Yes, 9 to 11. Also, grazing. Grazing, grazing, grazing. No graze. So, that's a guaranteed kill. And that means, let's see, where he is, he would not see you. From here, he would see you. So, if we slice from this side, then Spiegel Eye could command you to get out, because you'll be flanked. We'll activate that other pod. And then he'll get you out of there, and then he can still shoot if we want him to. Yeah, let's do it. This is this this makes sense. So let's use the the, the fact that you guys are buddies. And do it like this, 9 to 11, that's a guaranteed kill. They've got eyes on me. Hey, we got and we didn't even have activate, interesting, okay. What you have we didn't activate, and actually this is a line of sight blocker. Interest, okay, now Palinerno, could you maybe flank that sectoid? Indeed you could. I know. You know? Well, now I know too. Look at that. 
Look at that. Paul and Reno taking care of business. I know. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this activates. Shouldn't. Yeah. Okay, that means we can use Tom Raider to scout for us. Aha, uh -huh, that pod, we see three of them over there. Okay. So we could go a little bit more forward. Now we see all four of them. Next turn, they, sh they could definitely run back towards this mayhem and chaos that we have caused. Now, look at that. We can hack line of sight. We see all four of them. We can hack line of sight to go there. This wouldn't work, but this somehow would. Amazing. Do I trust it? Huh. Apparently, that's that's how it works. But I'd rather do it from this side, to be honest. Okay, and that means... You still have your concealment, so next turn, if they don't move or stay in the open, you would be able to actually shoot twice, because you're a ranger. We'd light them up, so let's put you over here. And just go on Overwatch. Then Ian, you... If I put you there, you might be... Flanked. Paladin Remno is kind of behind. It's almost good where you are. And yeah, we have no idea. Okay, let's just put you. Let's put you over Position here. Confirmed. Okay, let's see where they go. That's another pod. Okay, so now we have a problem. Yet another pod. Reinforcements are yellow. Like I said, reinforcements will come in quick. Oof, okay, so we have Spiegelei who can shoot one guy. That's now, again, problem of seven enemies in front of us. This could be everything on the map because they're vulnerable. In theory, this could be everything. Ten. Ten guys. And we have no time to waste. So let's not waste time. Out of the guys that you can see, the biggest threat would be, of course, the sentry. So let us shoot the sentry then. That's one sentry less. Okay, so this is what you did. Now you take a 70s or a 60, or we could teamwork you into a flanking position. However, I think you... Ah, you could flank, but not from cover. Or you could you. Well, that's kind of... Yeah, you can flank, but you are behind. Okay, that's, that's the thing. And because the guy has six hit points, in theory, maybe we would need even two shots to deal with him. Now, these two, I believe we should just flashbang this turn buy us some time but even flashbang like if I do come here with Palin Revno this guy would probably still have enough mobility to get over here and shoot you so honestly this is a better position for that flank or Palin Revno you, ah, you can do it from here yes you can okay yes, so sir. let's do it like this Yet another flanking shot. Of course, he stays alive. Okay, but with one hit point, I won't worry about it too much, especially if we flashbang all three. Can we do such a thing? Probably not. Yep, flashbang is not big enough. Okay. <clears throat> that means we could attempt a long-range snipe with... Not you... Aha. Uh -huh. 
Dolo, do you have a flashbang? Yes. Can you flashbang these two from where you are? No. You can't do anything because the other pod sees you. Unless, yeah, we can't even go back. So, ideal solution would be... Ooh, he and you would not activate that other pod and you would be fairly close. So you have a chance of grazing the guy to death. Moving to designate Let's the do so. 76, good enough. There we go. Awesome. No longer a <laughs> you actually did graze him to death. Okay, so that means now with your second action we will flashbang these two. Then Mundolo, I guess you can just move forward, but where? Honestly, your shot doesn't do anything, and if you were more forward, like here next to Ian, you could have a slice on those guys next turn if they activate. So I feel like getting you all the way over there. Then you can't move. And then the scientist to push you a little bit forward. I guess we'll just put you over here and hunker. Okay, these guys go away from us but going in for a slice on these two will inevitably activate them I have what I need for now now can you slice spell and no no you are too far Spiegel I can indeed slice but the guys are on overwatch you have a flashbang Fortunately, you can't sneak in to use it. You have a flashbang, but you also have Shadow Step. So, if I go there and slice from there, those guys, they just ran in. They would activate, run back out, be around here. Ian, yeah, we couldn't slice them if we activate that other pod. I feel like it's virtually guaranteed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they would activate. Okay, let's figure this out. You have a 77 and 62. Aha, we have a slice over here, so we would at least have low cover. Do we have a flashbang on the front line? We do. So that means that other pod activates and moves forward, we can flashbang, you know, at least two or three of them. Aha, and slices. Yeah, we can slice these two guys in cover. However, we only have one shadow step. Which is, which is not that bad. I mean, we could take this 77. Even a graze would remove the thing. So I would suggest... We start with a slice and then probably activation and then we'll decide, depending on where they go, what we'll do. So here you will have cover relative to those guys. Okay, so they... Whew,
this engineer, this rocketeer, and this sentry. Sure. This complicates things. Like a lot. Yeah, if I'm here, that guy can fire a rocket on both of us. Dolo, I don't think you have incoming. Do you have incoming? You do. Ooh, okay. So if a rocketeer fires a rocket, your incoming doesn't currently hit you, so I need to move forward. Just one tile forward, that means even if I was here, that would be enough. But then you would be easily flankable by that guy next turn. And we also still need to deal with the overwatch. Fallen Revenant could go here and then pull it in high cover. On a dash move, because he's too far to do anything. Fortunately, I would want to land where these guys already are. Now, the other question is do I want to take a 77 twice? I mean, he's flashbang, so he's very likely to miss, but I would still like to pull that in the open. Ah, and then you can go to this high cover, Pundolo, and give us incoming. Or a potential rocket. I've never seen them shoot rockets at targets that are so far. Hey, silencer, hello. At targets that are this far, but, you know, he might go for it. Seventy-seven. Problem is, where do I put you afterwards? Well, you don't really. Hmm. Going forward, I have no good cover. Oh well, 77. That problem is solved. So if that's the case, now we don't have to go for a slice over there. And that also means that with a boost from Spiegelei, you would be slicing that sentry from high cover. Now, can this engineer move enough to flank you later? Uh, the game says he couldn't get to this tile. Okay. Look at this teamwork. Look at these combos, guys. Zoom. Nice. Oh, this was this was very satisfying. That's right. That's right. And now, now we don't expect the rocketeer to shoot a rocket on any single target. Uh, you can go all the way there, but mobility of Rocketeer. Aha. Uh -huh. 
he can't jump out the window. That means he can't flank you. Over here, could this guy shoot a rocket? One, two, three, four, five. No, the rocket shouldn't be able to hit you both. Go so, ahead. Ian, let's push you forward. Fallen Revno, you can now go either here or here. Or even here. Roger that. Then you... Well, if I put you here, Rocketeer has two targets. I don't want to put you here, because then, again, two targets and an exploded thingy. Over here, it's low cover, so they would be tempted to shoot you. I suppose we can just put you over there. Because I think this is everything on the map. He goes here and then shoots. Missing a 43, okay. This guy will now shoot Pundol. Nope, go on Overwatch. Okay. So, can you... Reach him, yes you can. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You are out. Now let's see, can you reach the Rocketeer? No. That means probably Ian goes in to slice the Rocketeer. And we are done, I think. I don't think there's two more guys. Could be. Also, resistance contacts. We haven't seen any civilian anywhere. Beagle Eye, you can't reach it. Fallen Revno, you can reach it in blue move. So we got the loot as well. Nice gear you've got here. Double thingy. Ooh, advanced scope. Ooh. Nice gear indeed. Okay, you run towards the ladder, and Spiegelai, you run towards the ladder as well. I feel like it's okay to stand in the open. And Bundolo. On my way. Just be here. I'm on it. Mehrere Feinde nähern sich unserer Position. Enforcements are incoming, but we don't care because we are done. Now reinforcements might might drop us. Stun Lancer. Okay. So we will definitely have a peek. Heading out. What I am is in a hurry. What I am in a hurry. That's a scientist. Fortunately, we haven't seen any civilians here. I guess they were probably inside the building. Oh well. Okay, let's see what they're bringing. Mm, nope, rocketeer engineer. So, these guys do not interest us. Advent troop spotted. Negative damage. So, we are out. Solid copy. This was a cool little mission. I really liked it. We used everything smartly. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Uh, to, to, to flawless victory. It was indeed ten enemies. Whew, okay. Another scientist. Our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built, to return us to the chaos of the old world. And some promotion. Ooh, Bundolo, you are the next officer to get the trial by fire. Okay. 
Uh, so this you are a tank <laughs> with no intelligence. Uh, cutthroat. Oh, I said maybe hard target for tanks. Eh, cutthroat. Aggression first. Forward for you, and then for you. Cutthroat. Now you have low intelligence, but you have that from above with decent aim. But also salvo. But very low intelligence. Legomeister! Best tanks are the ones that don't realize they can use this meat shield. Because of very low combat intelligence. Mm, okay, we'll see, we'll see. I don't have to decide yet. Advanced scope, awesome, two cores, great, advanced stock. And emergency life support. Now another scientist. So Bundolo needs to go the thing, and I don't think I have any squads infiltrating or anything. 19 hours for covert actions. I've 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 clicked on the bonds so we can do some squad management. Um you guys the executor Then your silencer, your guys, Tom, and Tom is on the thingy. Okay, and then the other squad already has four guys, so let's do another squad. Voodoo. Slice and dice, shoot and slice. What else can I come up with on the spot? Maximum slicing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so who do we put in? Uh, Spiegel Eye and Ethan. Dolo. And then Paulin Revno and Indibil are buddies. Okay. And then Tom has a squad. And then you guys, Thor and Ginyu, are sort of bonded free agents. Well, New Indonesia. Venture power, free power. Ooh, okay. Don't mind if I do. That means I would have immediately enough power to make the infirmary. Uh, what is this? Another scientist rescue, but it's. It's not doable. Permanent grazing fire. Okay, we can do that one. You guys brought us 18 intel. Okay. Carry on now. Before I forget, let me just put Tom in the squad. There we go. Now let's see what do we have. We have supply drop in four days. That means new missions. Seven days, seven days. Five days. Fifteen days, okay. Or eight days. It cannot fail. It would give us more missions. Staff Sergeant. I don't think I have a Staff Sergeant yet. Yeah. Like Steel Corpses is okay. <clears throat> we might get... We might get the guy. 
but the chances are low. I would rather expand the possible missions that we have. Eight days, okay. So, there's no chance to fail. But one of you guys need to... What, what is this? Sergeant plus. Sergeant plus. So, Sergeant would need to go. Tomb Raider, you don't have a bonded pair. And then we can give you one of the rookies to be automatically promoted. Let's do the rookie with higher aim first. Ambush 18%. Now, yeah, it's, that's, that's okay. You don't need to carry Arc Blade in this mission, I don't think. Be fine. Flashbang medkit. You have SMG, flashbang grenade, that's fine. <clears throat> Take that. Off you go. Uh, sabotage, no, we don't want to do that. Recruited investor in Europe. So we are now at six. Okay, still get out of there. Six guys generating intel. Strength is now five. Okay. Well, six guys is enough to get us troop ambush if we get sort of lucky. So power three and now I can actually event power is now seven over here okay I can now actually go over there and help out with Intel collection to get us potentially something that we can do dark war down at the pub as always Wimbledon is done who won Wimbledon is done it's time for Bravo <laughs> Who won the Wimbledon? Okay, now, Pundolo goes in. Or... Trial by fire, so that we can promote lower ranked guys. Executor is back from the wounds. 8 and 7, liberation. Yeah, that's it. That is it. So, plus one VIP capture. Vigilance and return fire. Protection radi radius is larger. Oh well. This is a critical mission. So, we need to send our best. The game says slice and dice. Tom is supposed to be a shooter, but he doesn't have a shooty thing. Sergeant, Sergeant, Corporal. Yeah, I'm okay with this, but... But, but, but... I think we'll have to switch some stuff around. We'll do you two. That means you guys surrender the arc plates for now. We take you on this mission so now that's five people five days 20 goes down to 10 to 12 that's okay you have shadow step i was thinking because i should i should just keep the guys with the guys with actual light them up in the color of rangers so other shooters we 
gave this to you, gave this to your souls already. The color that is actually free is white. So shooters who will become shooters later should be white. Now let's do that. Hey, not save as only uniform. There we go. So the blue ones, we, we have guys with actual light em up, so they should have the ranger color. <sighs> now, your aim is 75. Yeah, indeed, I did say hard target for tanks, and then I forgot. Okay, three arc blades. This is a very critical mission. But three arc plates is, is fine, and then... Even though you're not really a shooter yet, I would like to give you a gun. Big Lie, let's borrow your gun real quick. Big Lie does have light em up, so he gets to be a ranger color. Okay, so now I know I have that advanced sight. You have a scope. Elite scope over here. Amaze. Uh, 75. And that's fine. So, scope to advanced scope. Advanced suppressor. You guys have advanced hair trigger and advanced hair trigger, right? Yep. Okay. So, advanced suppressor. You can give it to the officer. Scope does not go to you. Now, tank. Two guys who can shoot at mechanical units. And throw flashbangs. Tank with health. Tank with health. You have field medic. And you have backup flashbang and heal. You two have Shadow Step and Arc Blade. So two Shadow Steps. Thank you, boy. Two Shootsies. Three Arc Blades total. We have the, the, the Elf over here. Awesome. Now Mobility 15, 15, 15, 16, 15. Mobility is fine. We have Death Perceptions. Well, those should go to Death, death from Above, Shinobis. I'm the only one where you you shoot Paladin Revno, you shouldn't have it. HP emergency life support. One HP. One HP. Well none of you guys has tragically low well, five isn't the best, but I don't know. I don't think I should give anyone anything. And now it says 10 to 12, 5 days, 19 hours, 10 to 12, 4, capture a guy. City center, okay. I don't want to give, I don't want to send all arc blades on, on a single mission, you know. 2 and 6, oh my word, we can't do this. We definitely <laughs> strength eight. We definitely can't do this. Strength five. Uh, buff dude is back. Okay. Seven and twelve. For some rookies. Oh, well, that can be over infiltrated. I guess it's a good training mission. But also cancelable if we get something better. Twenty nine hours. Oh well. B 
we have Optimist as a as the officer. There's an arc blade, okay. We have another arc blade, so what could we Spiegel Eye as a shooter and we took away your gun. Ha! <laughs> Sony is wounded and has a gun, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this one, two, three, four, five, extremely light, 126, perfect. Um, six, twelve, zero, fourteen. So we have you guys. We have your thingy. We have one command, and we're sending you two who are currently unable to go on a mission with your bonded pair. And I guess that's it then. But again, like if something needs to be cancelled, we can cancel this one. Strength drop to 4 over there, so that's something. Be hit by a warwatch, that's fine. Draw all force. Ah. Ooh. Turn fire expired. Six and twenty. Yes, okay. I'm dying lightly. So zombies ahoy. These are crates. In you, hello. Take back the planet. Yeah, I can't really drop so much gear that we could send six guys and have it be 10 to 12, I don't think. If I save that advanced suppressor, maybe. So Ben, are you of any use on this mission? Like who's the weakest link here? I think Ben is the weakest link here, honestly. Okay. You started Blade Master's only campaign, seemed fun. Oh, it is fun. The challenge is how far can you get?
I think we have one arc blade, don't we? Yep. So executor gets to execute stuff with the arc blade. Ron Jeremy has four hit points. You know what? Let's give him five. Your body's with four. It's not available. Yes, he is. Oh, so I have to take him then. Well, I don't have to take him. Um, Thor will be promoted automatically with Trial by Fire. So yeah, this bond can wait a little bit. So you are an actual ranger. You have your unique costume, so I don't change your color. Arc Blade is with you. Well, 10 to 12, it is what it is. Not the strongest squad, one arc blade, one laser rifle. We'll make do. Maximum slicing. <laughs> the name of the team. Okay, right, so now we actually don't have guys anymore, so let's hop to the hospital real quick. Sony is now recovered. Four and fifteen for smash and grab. In this region with eight strength, no. Workshop done. Okay, so now. Oof. Now I don't really need the power at this time, so putting in engineer over here, I should still put the engineer over there. Doesn't really matter if the engineer is in, in the thing or elsewhere. Gremlin, okay. And Let's just put the gremlin here for sole reason we can. Uh, how much does it cost to upgrade this? 100. Okay. Another engineer would be nice. Okay done over here uh, yeah we're not doing anything over here 7 and 23 find a lead uh, that's okay so the question is vigilance and sealed armor this one gives intel an intel package. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. And that one... This jailbreak gives... More rookies. More resistance personnel. That's it. I already have 11 resistance... I mean, it's gonna go down once we get Haven retaliation and stuff. But I'd rather get Intel and Intel package than two more rookies and two more resistance guys. That's a better deal. Yeah, liberation that we're not gonna do anytime soon. Okay, and now Son is back, but we have no more rifles. Ah, 
133. Uh, we probably have enough time to fly to the black site and sell some stuff. No rifles and no swords, indeed. So if we don't have swords, we should have rifles. Preferably two. Ooh, we have Predator Armor though. I forgot that I had it. Ah, uh, we'll get stocks later. They will pay me 10 for an auto order? Yes, thank you. Okay, so I could make two rifles now. Just feel like that's kind of over investing. And I wonder if instead of rifles I should do stand guns. The stand guns can then later be dropped off to regular shinobis, you know. We have an officer. Okay, so if we don't use Spiegelai, we use the officer. It's still 7 to 9. Oh, we do have. We have one arc blade. Okay, that's cool. Almost feel like. Well, you have Shadow Step. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, light them up. Oh, screw it, I'll just make one more laser rifle. Scope and total order, okay. Eighty rounds, your mobility is super high. Okay. It's not bad. One arc blade, one laser rifle. With a ranger shooter. And an officer. Uh, destroy the relay. Subway, okay. Seven to nine, a subway. You guys have, you have your thing, you have... A variety of things. Yeah, flashbang, flashbang, health, health. What about them stand guns? Well, now looking at the squad, I don't feel like I need any right now. I, I already decided to make him a rifle because he's actually a ranger. So six rifle, six rifles it is, and I guess this is this is it. This is good enough. Okay, back to the hospital. Although, do we even have more guys that need hospitalizing? What's the situation with wounds? Oh, we are clear. We are 100% clear. Okay, that's awesome. So... Yes, we can help with intel here. Although strength, yeah, yeah, we have the least amount of guys over there. Battle. Oh, I and I completely forgot about the the predator armor. Okay, so now we don't have anything. Uh, radio, we don't really need. Next thing to do would actually be magnetic weapons. But that will have to wait. Something's at a hundred. 
Okay, we're waiting for it to drop 10 to 12. You guys did not get ambushed and now we have an extra character. Okay, so this one is high aim, okay, mobility, super low health, dumb, but run and gun, but low health. Oh well, it's still a run and gun, although you're very low on the pole, so I'm not sure if you will get to play all that much. So you're basically destined to be a Salt Shinobi. Should we even use you? Okay, now let's look at... The thing is... Supplies, resistance contact. It's pretty strong, to be honest. Okay, so these things are of low value. I guess supplies would be number one thing to get. Although resistance contacts is super powerful, you basically, if you do this like once or twice and then you get it from the, the liberation mission and get away with not even having the, the, the building for it. But eh, that's, that's, that's something for, for the future. So we're going after supplies. Um, Ethan Bundolo, he comes out in three days. This is a six days operation. However, I don't want it to fail, so I would like to use higher level soldiers. Yeah, two soldiers. 0%, but what if we promote the other rookie? Anyway, yeah, that's too much. I failed a 93, so I'm not gonna take 79. Uh, any of you guys? 10, 10. Well, well, you would be promoted, and with you, it's 87. Okay, and then oh you would be promoted okay 95 chance to work and then four gets promoted automatically from it in six days yep that is that is good now you have nothing now you do have a laser rifle in your position. What's the chance of ambush 22? You know what? Just, just keep it. Go. Go forth. Bring us supplies. Thank you. Hundred and twenty-seven. Ten to twelve. It's not gonna get any better. Unless strength randomly drops in the next eighteen hours. One hour to liberate the region, okay. This one is now at a hundred, seven, five hours to launch. But you know, if we do the maximum thingy and then having 10 people, uh, 10 enemies instead of 12 enemies on crates mission is a good thing. 
Six and nine. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please. That means we have to run this one now. Immediately. One hour before it goes out. Liberation. And afterwards, troop column. Troop column, troop column. The spokesman has sent word of an alien collaborator moving through this area in an advent transport. Apparently the loss of this individual... Oh, that's not the crates mission. That's the liberation. So, so again, 10 enemies instead of 12. The the VIP, would be super good, but I really doubt it. They prefer we bring the target in alive. But use whatever means necessary. Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Hmm. So over there and then over there. Map is big, but this side. Ooh, okay. That means we are sort of relatively close. Buildings, okay. Then if we go this direction, we will struggle with cover, probably. Okay, so let's just go directly towards it. Boy. This building, we could even climb. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could climb the building and then our guys could have a shot from above. Oh, nope. We cannot climb because tower. So the tower is basically hurting us in this direction. Ordenes confirmadas. En marcha. So I suppose that's where we will go. I'll lead the way. On my way. Voy a la posición designada. Ah, <laughs> this is a very narrow path that we need to thread between these guys. Also, this is 10 to 12 enemies. We are very close to the target and we haven't seen anything. I do not like it. And this stupid thing is over. I would love to just now go to this side. I, I bet there's a pot over here. I would love to engage it, but we can't sneak to it. Because of the tower. Now we also can go inside this building and go through it because people. I don't think we will get um, faceless this early on liberation mission. like this is going to get ugly we'll have too many enemies to fight all at once but if we go around we're wasting time so we're not going around now the problem is if I do this there might be a pod inside or, or, or a drone or something and then I lose concealment Jeez, they've really made it really complicated with the tower and all these civilians. Would go up. Then through here, over there. So there's gonna be a pod over there. Um, wait one second, look at that, so the silencer actually 
reduces the vision on these guys. Indivil can't get in, but Silencer can. Okay, that means he could rush in and scout ahead a little bit. Yep. Oh, there is a faceless. Oh, we activated the world. Oh. It was a trap, guys. It was a trap. It was a trap. <laughs> Can I do it? It's stuck. And there's still one more pod, indeed. It was a trap. Well. And your teammate is... Who's your teammate? Nobody over here, I, I don't think. No, it is, it is. Okay, so Tom can actually get you out of there. Or maybe you could just slice, yeah. If he gives you the movement point, could you slice, I wonder? No, it's a movement point, it shouldn't work that way. But you'll definitely need it, because you are now flanked from, by all these things. Now, uh, there's, the, there's the sergeant, I think regular guys and the guy okay so let's let's try to get out of this one you can only rent over there oh we have the option to give silencer an erection and then he wouldn't be flanked guys are too far away to do anything useful this turn. Indibil can go for a slice. 11 to 15, so that's a high chance of a kill and he's gonna have to do that because he's the tank. He is here. Absolute mineral. 11 to 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 1 in 5. 80% to kill and we get a mineral now sergeants are known for having grenades However, the sergeant can move here or to here from there. Means over here. Could he lob a grenade all the way over there? I don't think so. And the elf, as much as the elf is a tank, you know, and stuff, she can't really. We can't really put her in the open in one for all. 
against this many enemies. That will not end well. However, she's got momentum, which means she could rent and then get out of there. Go over here to high cover. And I feel like maybe this turn we do spend body point. Alan Remno could in theory flank these guys, but then he would be flanked himself next turn. You can't kill anything else other than him, and then we would have at least one focus point. Yeah, that's the best move. Now we'll have focus for next turn. That's too many shots. We can't we can't do it. Yeah. Okay, so you would go here, but Yeah, and Silencer, Silencer could now, oh, he could go here, I guess, to hide from all, everything over there, and then he's also far away for some good slicing next turn. Okay, so body point from Tom. Keep going. Could we go... Oh, we can go inside. And this is full-on line-of-sight hacking. I thought something could see you. I'm not sure. I don't think it could. Could theory even go to the roof. Um, this is probably okay. Nothing can flank you or see you from this side. And then you are here, you have this window. Next turn we could do um, maybe Oscar Mike, maybe Command, I don't know. This is okay for you for now. That means you go to high cover over here. See, I told you there's a pod over there. I knew it, but this freaking thing. That means Tom can't get any further than... Since they know he's here, maybe somebody will come here and be flanked by him. Or flankable by him, so let's keep him over here. Then Paulin Revno can... Where do we put him? I think we will also need him on this side, to be honest, against all that stuff. Yeah, we should like withdraw, if we can next turn, withdraw from that. Even though, ha, huh, I'm expecting you to do panic on one of these guys. Which will make us charge in that direction, which won't be... Well, panic... Well, we can... Oh, no, panic, we... Mind control will be preferable, because we can drop that with a flashbang. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But Palin Revno, yes, I feel like maybe you should be on this side flanking these guys and then next turn maybe slice the, 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 the grenadier or something, but definitely this side. Copy that. Okay, well it was Great. Okay, view range from the guy. Insane view range from the guy. We lose concealment. Awesome. Now, this is... Panic. Mind control would literally be preferable. Yep, you can spit. We don't care. Ah! 
53 for full 5 damage. Palin Remno, you're like in, in harm's time. way. Why did I push you so further? So much ahead. Ooh. Oh, double move. Oof. Ooh, that double move. And the drone. Okay. The forces of the occupation. Tom does have Shadow Step. But he has a rifle, so he can't run far enough to slice anything other than that guy, and that's kind of useless. Okay, so Palin Revno and Tom can both flank Sergeant. Hey, Renry. So we've activated seven. There's going to be another pod of four. Silencer also has Shadow Step. Silencer cannot slice from cover. Okay, so that's a guaranteed kill with potentially another faceless in the mix. If we kill there, then we don't have panic anymore. Okay, okay. How's your slice and run going? Well, you join us in an interesting mission. So do we value getting Indibil out of this pickle? Indibil has... Um, an arc blade. Tom also has an arc blade. That freaking sectoid. It's a 53 for full 5 damage. Unbelievable. We min roll on an 80% to kill a guy and, and he full full damage. It's not a 53, it was actually a 40. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Ah, oh, god damn it! One tile. So if we leave you over here, that drone can probably come and put you to sleep, right? Yeah. But if we go forward, we risk even more enemies activating. So, Tom, much as I want you to go and shoot over there, I feel like maybe you should go over here and kill the drone. Attempt to kill the drone at least. Even though Paul and Remno would be better. Oh, Paul and Remno can indeed 
move to high cover and then he gets plus 10 move uh, plus 10 aim from impulse but then how do we kill the 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 guy we could stun the guy or kill him with silencer but problem with silencer is if he goes for a slice well he could yeah we hmm there are no good options here go there then we could momentum away from there but not really like to high cover or something but again the drone was here that last well this pod was guarding the the, the guy so I think I think the last pod is over there but what if you just charge the guy that's on overwatch and then he's dead and then we have momentum to get out of there and then if silencer goes to kill the sergeant what's the odds he could be given an erection to have him be in cover wait didn't silencer have enough movement no he didn't okay so that's a mood point yeah by one tile What is your Oscar might hit right now? It only hits the elf. And then with a blue move, with a blue move, you could still slice this guy, but then you're flanked by everything. And the elf, even with Oscar Mike, couldn't get all the way there. So. Snakes can probably now also flank in the bill. Mm, this one can't, but this one, yeah. So in the bill can be put to sleep by a snake by a drone and also flanked by a snake oh man this is a situation if I go forward and kill that guy and activate more well if I activate more they will be far away but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid one of these guys is a, is a faceless so what's my blue move with you, the elf? Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, sort of. So from that tile... You would be able to fall back. Can you climb? No. You would be able to fall back to drone and no more. I really can't allow the drone to put anyone to sleep, so... Ah, if I leave Silencer... Well, I mean, Indibail is, is a tank. He's got 8 hit points and 2... 
he can only be flanked by one snake and then the thing puts him to sleep so I, I guess we just use him as the meat shield and then when the snake flanks him we go kill the snake next turn because he's still hunkered he's still going to have huge defense against you but if he gets put to sleep I guess his hunker goes away I, I just can't I can't go there I can't go there I have to deal with this side first Now, in theory, you could put Sergeant to sleep. And give Silencer cover. So if Silencer goes and kills this guy with overwatch he can be given cover over there and Palin Revno could actually just flank this one and kill him it's a hundred percent to kill because he's got four hit points so these two are out sergeant is put to sleep so we can deal with sergeant next turn probably by silencer going in for a slice with the thing and that would mean that tom can go in this direction and shoot the drone like his shot won't be the best it's gonna be decent if we kill the drone, then uh, Indebil doesn't get put to sleep. He only gets shot once by a snake. He has the anti-crit vest, so maybe it won't be a crit. Won't be that bad. Uh, you would be flankable but we'll also flank him he'll run away in that direction okay i think that's the plan i think that is the best we can do put you to sleep now if that 90 percent stun fails then jeez so silencer goes in removes the overwatch slices over here he gets given cover and then okay let me just see the elf You see the guy from over here. Fallen Revenant has to kill this one. And Tom will try to kill the snake. Alright, we'll try it. And then Indie Bill just stays there and takes the punches. Don't have a better option. It was a freaking trap. Erection in place. 95. Okay. Now let's see. Falling Revno. If you go for a slice, it's a hundred percent death. However, then you're in low cover and you're already wounded. So maybe that entices the snakes to go after you or something. I'd like to keep you in the back a little bit, away from stuff. There is no high cover though. You are now at 73 minus 4. 
that is 69 plus 10 79 it's gonna be 79 aim laser rifle is plus 5 89 and then this should give you a little bit of proximity bonus this probably not here you have a shot next turn and it's really fine still a hundred yeah advanced scope weapon rage weapon accuracy grace so it's a 97 it was easier than I was expecting easier than expected okay and then you could attempt to kill a drone. Uh, that guy will not go for a flank because he would then be flanked by silencer. And I have no better place to put Tom. On my way. They see me. Uh, 90 which means 80% to kill a drone come on boom there we go okay max roll Whew. I think we did the most that we could hit for one he isn't giving us focus perfect now this snake goes for a flank hits us or two yep no crit then this snake shoots Nope, tries to split again, like the last time it didn't work. Let's try again. And this guy just double moves. Yes, okay. Okay, so. Good call on my part. Now, this sergeant needs to go down. Pauline Revenue can shoot only once. We could get plus 10 aim if we moved. Alin Revno has some chance of killing him on his, on his own. And I, ooh, do you have somebody in a blue move? Elf, please say you do. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so that means that we can shoot Walt at the guy. And then still go in for a slice against the sectoid. Perfect. Good job, sectoid. Good job. Yep, that's a blue move. Okay, so that's our move with you. And let's do it immediately. Walt over here. Now your suffering really begins. Hit for six, which... Makes it a guaranteed kill by Paulin Revno. My strike surges forth. Oh man. Look at that. Okay, so now Paulin Revno, you can still hang back. Oh. Well, I think you can even stay in the open. Five to seven. Executioner, Blade Master, Aftershock. Yeah, no grace, so we could we could just slice him. Okay, so that means that silencer can go forward. This snake cannot be killed from cover. Uh, Tom can't go through because he would get poisoned. Yep, okay. So that means you... Uh, I guess this is fine because the drone came from that direction. makes me think this is relatively safe I'm still thinking the pod is over there so you kill this one 
Silencer can kill that one. But then Silencer is standing in the open versus a, a Sectoid. However, Sectoid is the last man standing. Or, oh, Silencer, can you actually, Silencer, can you go kill that other snake? Like we switch places. No, you can't, you don't have the mobility. You would have to do it from here. Planking the sectoid. Sectoid! Ah, ooh! Huh, no, one for all. Yeah, then, then you, you're not in one for all. You could be... Or what if we command the elf? And then the elf goes, slices the snake, kills it, and then goes into one for all over here. So, uh -huh. but um, it's not a guaranteed kill. But even so, I think Rand is six to nine. It's it's still a high chance. So yeah, that would be a better use of your move. And then Tom can't really do anything this turn that matters. Yeah, this is way, way better. Okay, so we're gonna command. We'll grab the loot and command with Silencer. Uh, we can't do that. We have to go forward. Well, I guess then Tom would grab the loot because he can't really do anything meaningful this turn. Yeah, okay. And you uh, can just... Let's leave this for last and then I'll decide how I'll kill him. I know I can kill him 100%. Just depends on whether these snakes are actually going to be dead. Okay, so Indivil, let's do a risky move with you. This has a, some chance of activating more. But no, okay, and uh, then next move would be Silencer going forward and commanding. Exactly seven. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock we'll capture them, and, and then you in. can go in one for all this over here position. against a single sectoid. Yes, much better. Okay, Object worked out great. Yes, tactical genius. Tactical genius at its finest. Okay, so that means I can go for a slice. Not sure that actually gives... Well, if I go for a slice, I'm one tile closer to the rest of the squad. And also, this is Blade Master's campaign, so let's go for a slice. And we got the loot at the same time. Okay. Oh, it is! It is, it is. It is a uh, guy, so okay. One more guy. Go for a zombie, that's fine. Go for a zombie. Okay. So now, uh, I think Silencer is the furthest and can hit the Pudding Man. Yep. So again, we have 11 to 15. Let's see how that plays out. It's an 80% chance to kill. Twice in the same mission. Imagine that.
Freaking twice in the same mission. And you hit him for 12, naturally. <laughs> okay. Um, the elf deals with the sectoid. Uh huh, and another drone. Okay. This makes me think there might. Oh, you know, there's a pod. Like I said, there's a pod. Yep. Okay, and now the problem is Palin is too far to shoot the drone. Okay, so he just needs to run. I think I'll be on my way. And then in the bill, if. Can you even slice? You can. But you slicing. Yeah, this is unfortunate that we activated the drone. You slicing could activate more. Who are your buddies with? Your buddies with... Oh, look at that! So your buddies with Palin Revno. And Palin Revno with another blue move could potentially see the drone shoot the drone. Oh no, he spent his boat. Oh, okay, this was pointless. That's just a movement point, so it doesn't really work that way. You still can't shoot, you can only move. Um, okay, well, at least I'll put Colin Remno closer. Yeah, that was... That was my bad. So I guess the throne will put someone to sleep. Nothing I can do about that. And I'll just fly in and put someone to sleep. However, those three guys, just like three regular troopers, so nothing too scary awaits us. Okay, if I want to make sure it doesn't put you to sleep, I should just fall back, right? It puts one of these guys to sleep, then... Oh well. But I can't check mobility now. Um, I guess I'll have to hope this is enough. Here they come, okay. Oh, it's gonna be silence, okay. So, you guys are in the great position to be vaulted. Hmm. Fortunately, I'm too far away. Tom, you do have the thing. Active five. Oh, that 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 counts the the VIP. So these three. What do we have? We have Palin Revno who can shoot and kill the drone, and nothing else. So let's have him do exactly that. Uh, afterwards, we will have you to go slice, you to go slice, and you to bolt. So, yeah, it should be fine. Let's not overthink it. Yeah, I got it. If you were so perfect, how did it fail? <laughs> what failed? Nothing failed. Okay. So now the question is, do I want to go kill it? Well, huh, these guys are too far away for Volt. Um, what was the Volt again? Four to seven? Well, that's a guaranteed kill on the small guy. I think it was four to seven. 
So that means I don't even have to break that for watch first. But this, ah, this activates the overwatch. Oh, well, didn't I just say I won't overthink it? Boom. Yeah, four to seven. Be wary of my mark. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, nobody can do a blue move, so we'll have in the build just go next to the VIP. That would be it. A good decision. Target package in custody. Okay. Yo. Copy that. All in Revno smashes the window. To the delight of actual Paul and Remno in real life. Uh, you don't have medkit anyway, so Good to go. does not matter. Stunned. When were you stunned? Oh, the the the. <laughs> you were actually stunned. Okay, I forgot about that completely. Yo, man, cargo. Now, uh, again, we actually have a reason to wait for reinforcements in case they drop a stun lancer. I'll be on my way. So, you know. Let's wait. Like, uh, another stun lancer out of this mission. Would be an unbelievable icing to the cake. I'm on my way. Vamos a movernos. Okay, so smart Overwatch all, smart Overwatch all. Yes, sir. Boom, and turn. Let's see what Once they again, drop. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Uh, nope. No stun lancer, so we'll just pick up the VIP and be out of here. Okay. Fortunate dice rolls, says Lurkapug. I guess that was the comment on the yogurt guy. It didn't matter this time around. It's just funny. How it happened twice in a, in a single mission. Okay, we are out of here. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Moon Chalice. VIP is secure. With a small wound, we did liberation, which gives us a tower mission now. We must never allow these but also a uh, troop column to do right now. So that was that was that was a trap, but we got out of it skillfully. Tactical genius struck again. A 
And here's our first Staff Sergeant, which means now we can get the Skirmisher as well. So, Void Conduit is awesome. However, in this specific uh, playthrough, the ability to ignore Flamers or bait them with you. Immune to fire, poison, acid and explosive damage. Like, the way I read it, this gives us immunity to Flamers. So yeah, for this specific playthrough, I will take it, even though Void Conduit is unbelievably strong. But Flamers are, you know, a weakness to, to this team composition. Staff Sergeant as well. It's a shame we could have sent you, well, to be wounded for some amount of time. So I guess Bladestorm um because you can't really shoot twice shadow strike who does well shadow strike is okay with rapid fire <clears throat> might also be okay on actual what are they called rangers the guys with light em up so they could take a shot from concealment with light em up crit potentially kill a thing and then take another shot you're not a light em up guy you're just like a why are you even a shooter oh because you have high aim and impulse i guess and rupture uh rupture is good on you so yeah shadow strike on you nah late storm no one in my barracks says light em up not one huh but not damage, but not the damage from elite. Elite what? Ooh, plus three aim. And you rolled absolute elite flamer. Why would, why would, elite flamer be able to damage with fire and other guys can't? Like I don't, I don't understand. He deals fire damage, so well, why? I think elite purifiers ignore immunity. They have the perk. Ah, okay. With well, because of the perk. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that sucks then. What's the point? <laughs> Shouldn't have taken it. Uh, no matter, no matter. <clears throat> we'll make do. That's in very late game, so. I'm not sure this campaign can even go there. Immune to fire. Well, so you're saying, what, we take damage but we can't be set on fire? That's something, I guess, right? Like the elite flamer can damage us with fire, but then we don't get set on fire. Alright. If we are in one for all, then his fire damage shouldn't penetrate the ablative anyway. Okay, so um, right now we have that thingy. In four days, supply run. Uh, I think I remember everything sucked. I think I remember everything sucked. There was maybe Intel overt operation. We could always do either hunt one or open up skirmisher i would prefer to open up a skirmisher however how long is your wound 21 days jeez okay so you're out and that means i would have to send you to do it i think i want to send you like i want to get the skirmisher as fast as possible open up the third set of missions gives us a better chance of getting supplies intel all that stuff and I think you take Dot still, just not the initial. Oh, hey, Thor is here. Hello, Thor. Um, okay, so the elf is gonna go fetch Cielo. And Paulin Revno is wounded. 12 hours for Ethan Bundolo. Unfortunately, we can't wait 12 hours. 
Beagle Eye is also on covert operation. What we have here is guys over there. In the build, Tom, Tom Brader, Ian. Ian is out. Silencer, Silencer can command. Sony is. In What's that other mission? Can we run it at a hundred? Just to give me more options. Yep, I know it's a tower mission. Okay, so this one is 10 to 12, but I remember saying we can over infiltrate that for 7 to 9. Okay, so that needs to wait, which means we gotta go with what we have. And that means I'll probably use the elf then. Because it's six days and the covert operation is gonna run for four days anyway so yeah okay uh, individual your body is Palinreno he's wounded okay Tom Brader is here so we have three arc blades one laser rifle. Ben is here. So, five of you makes it 10 to 12. If we take Ben, that makes it 13 to 15. I would like to get 13 to 15 because we get better rewards. Alloy throwing knife is freaking 25 supplies, we have 23. Uh, he needs a throwing knife because we're making a throwing knife build. You have screen big enough to watch stream and work at the same time. You didn't have two monitors before. You only worked on one, but now you bought a huge one. I have two monitors. Okay. Well, congrats, either way, on being able to multitask. Even though today I listened to the lecture, which confirmed that research has shown that we can basically only single task. Multitask is an illusion. It doesn't really happen. So yeah, if we're not giving him a rifle, we're giving him an app. But I, I don't think I have time to go to the to the black, black site. So I guess we'll just we'll just have him tag along and potentially do some scouting later. Re-aim. Re-aim would be nice on you, for instance. For that single shot. Or we give that three aim to one of the rangers. Yeah, he can shoot twice, so we get twice the mileage out of that aim. Okay. 15, 15, 15. Mobility is good on everybody. That plus one mobility. So what's with you? You have 79 plus 10. Like you are the one that should get depth perception eventually. If we give you a shooty thing and you actually have that from above. Regular sword. Oh, we have the freaking thing. Come on. Boom. Predator armor. I finally remembered. We have a predator armor. I already changed the old car color. I don't remember, but does Ranger a subclass of Shinobi? No, I'm calling them Rangers because I rolled several guys with light em up. So we take light em up and then turn a Shinobi into a Ranger Shinobi. Because he can shoot twice. And also have Executioner. The only difference is you don't have uh, Locked On.
I think the Templar armor is 30, right? Yep. So we can't do it. What about the shield? We can do the shield. Okay, we'll do the shield then. Perfect. Okay, so now we have more ability to work with. And then you're here to kill the drones. Or some such. Uh, you have... Yeah, let's give the Arc Blade to... Tomb Raider, who will probably be running forward. And then Ben is tagging along to learn from the pros, I guess. Possibly providing some scouting later on. Every almost everybody has the thingies. You have flashbang and AP ammo. Second flashbang, third flash. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So 13 to 15 on oh, small town. Thank God, it's not abandoned town. Awesome. There's going to be some flamers, so we'll probably use you to bait them. Uh, did we get anything interesting? Laser sight. Nope, I'm going to sell that. Nobody here really needs it. Alright. Off you go. So this is more important than the tower right now. But we could try to do tower with guys that... Recover. We'll see, we'll see when they come back. So now we do have a big wound. But it's only one guy, so it still makes sense to go and help out with Intel Collection over there. Why did we stop? <clears throat> no apparent reason. Strength 8. Now I wonder if I should just give up on the idea of trying to get Troop Ambush over here. Because it's going to be bad timer and huge amounts of enemies. All the while we are filling the bucket for another intel raid. And that intel raid will have like 16 to 18 enemies and it's going to be terrible. Like the strength went way, way too high. So let's just let's just cool off this region and then we can resume what i can do is like generate supply with one guy <laughs> so if i put two guys in and some of these guys are well there won't be faceless they won't be faceless because they survived multiple attacks everybody else just died so i'm pretty sure these guys are not faceless and with two guys I don't think we can have a raid, so we're gonna put two of them on supply. And that also means I could be putting one guy on, I could be putting them on a recruit. If I'm right about this. If I'm wrong, we're going to get a retaliation and then I'm just going to not do it. But okay, let's do it this way. Trial by fire. Okay, so now we can uh, train those rookies. Get some training operations. Uh, you are not a guy that needs to be trained, so no officer training for now. Hmm. Okay, so this one needs to be uh, launched. Oh well. I thought we can over infiltrate. Apparently not. 10 to 12 for. Oh no, 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 that was the 10 to 12 for crates. Okay. With zombies coming back randomly. So these missions are tricksy. I tend to mess them up. That's my track record. I feel like I, I have a tendency to mess these missions up. So, tactical genius brain engage. Uh, 
I think I just heard a turret. So yeah, there's gonna be a turret. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. And I have a feeling the game will also give me um Stun Lancer to get greedy about. That's what I'm expecting. Because that's what I noticed, like these these missions tend to have stun lancers for some reason. Will do. Idok. First girl, don't get spotted by a drone. All the remnant, how long? It was twenty-one days. You seems seems like you're very fragile. <laughs> you were scratched a little bit, and then 21 days out. That's a long time, but it was for liberation. What can we do? I was just unlucky. That stupid sectoid hits you with a 44 max damage. Ah, the drone is over there, okay. That's affirmative. Mm -hmm. There's the turret. Okay. So, because we don't see anything and the drone is here, this makes me think there's a pod over there. So far we see a crate, a crate. No, there's gonna be some over there, some over there. Okay. Ginyu has a good chance of killing the turret. He is a ranger, yep, there we go, light him up. So he could kill a turret and shoot more. Here's high cover. Could you see like both of them? Yes. Let's go there, and maybe next turn you shoot them both. Lego Meister, you are... You have a regular sword, and you have 3 HP. You can still command from behind. Okay, so let's leave you on this, star, on this thingy. Then, if next turn we indeed kill these two things, we, we will lose concealment with you. You and then potentially Ian as well. You can grab that crate. Uh, Ron Jeremy, where are you? Over there. Okay, let's send you in this direction. Then as close as you can get. Ah, okay, so there's three enemies over there. That's fine. Then executor, let's put you here. You guys stay where you are. So hopefully next turn the drone is visible by Ginyu, and then he can shoot the drone and the turret. Yep, looks looks okay. There we go. There we go. Eighty-five. Oh well. Hmm, Ginyu. Just a little off. Just a little off. Oh, now you're gonna spot everybody? I forgot about that. Okay, so now we activate those then? No, we don't. We don't. Okay. Oh, and this is not a guaranteed kill. Huh. Ginyu, that was quite disappointing, let me tell you. 
quite disappointing. Uh, you are now the only one who has concealment. All day has been a little bit. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Okay, let me see. You have a body here. <clears throat> Your body is executor, which means that if you go over there and slice, executor can give you a movement point to get you out of trouble. I just have a feeling that we've seen that pod. And I just still think there might be a pod over there. Nope, but one more drone is. It's the troops here. On this side, okay. Oh, but also another pod, okay. Uh, what? What supplies? What, what what did we just mark? There was a there was a crate within the turret. That's that's new. Okay, so you. Well, let's see. Uh, he actually has high cover relative to all those guys. Well, super secret supplies. Um, that's a gunner, though. Well, I can't really pull him back anyway. So he's a tank in high cover against those guys. That's that's fine. And the sectoid would need to move forward. Uh, concealment is of no value, I don't think, anymore. Because we know... What do we know? We know that we killed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then there's going to be another pod over there. We know there's a pod over here, which might actually activate next turn. So yeah, concealment... Nah, yeah. It's kind of... It's kind of not a big deal. That means you can grab this and finish the drone that's been wounded by Ginyu. And then Executor can go and kill this drone with this in this low cover. I guess we'll just leave you there and hope for the best. Position compromised. Now we have Ron. Ooh, we can flashbang the gunner. I like the idea of flashbanging the gunner very, very much. Uh, so we need to be at the bare minimum one, two, three closer. How far can you throw it like this? Sure, no problem. Which means this high cover will give you a flashbang on these two, no problem. The sectoid will have to go forward to do some mind nonsense. I like it. Okay, so the gunner is crowd control. No, what? What? You actually have a line of sight? Oh, okay. On deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Super secret crate, okay. Something. So, in theory, we could grab this one. But 
that might activate more. Genio can't, Slice Genio is way too far, you can't even shoot. Would be commanded to shoot, but going there, again, we know there's a pod over there. What can you do, Executor? Can't slice. Executor has a grenade for some reason. <laughs> I need to. I need to get rid of it. Grenades are kind of pointless at this point. So Ian can give Executor movement point. You can give Ian movement point, but it doesn't do anything for us. Ron Jeremy has no shadow step can Ian tag the crate um, no oh you mean all the way over no not not that one good with Oscar Mike but I can't send him over there this is a little bit tricksy Like this is yeah plus command, but it's it's yeah, it's not a good use of a command. It's a flashbang, the regular guy. That's a different pod that got activated. Okay. Good work. Advent's locator so... is down and our is active. Oh, we didn't Fire throw evac. Good job, me. Okay. Completely forgot forgot about throwing evac. That means now we activated this pod one, two, three, four, five, six, kill two, eight. And another pod is relatively or was this you know what? I'm thinking the pod that we saw at that time had a sectoid. I now think that pod is this pod. We activated them somewhere over there. We saw them here and then they activated over there. So I'm thinking that's the pod that went over. There still needs to be one pod all the way back. There is no pod over here. So now we've activated everything that we could potentially activate. But everything is so far away. That I can't really do much. Now, believe it or not, I could potentially use that grenade that I have and don't want. I could grenade this guy and he might die. I could do that from Ron Jeremy's spot. However, Ron Jeremy can't get out without pulling overwatches. I would have to go with Executor this spot and then throw, eva uh, throw a grenade. What else am I gonna do with you? Nothing. Moving to designated coordinates. So, well, there's a chance. Take this. this guy dies. There we go. Okay. One enemy less. Good job, Executor. Now, can you <clears throat> do we want to keep you here in low cover? We could if you flashbang these two. That means no mark from the officer, they both shoot. 
One loot less? Did I kill the loot? Didn't see. That doesn't stop that rocketeer from shooting. Ian. Does the mark rate get taken next turn? Yeah, it will, but uh, it gets taken after they get to act. So you mark the crate, they shoot at you, and then the, the crate gets taken, so you lose cover after they have already fired. But if they don't fire, huh, they might go on Overwatch, and then you're standing out in the open with, with Overwatch against you. option to go here and then command Ginyu to shoot the Rocketeer. He's then in low cover against some stuff. But Rocketeer being out of the picture would be great, although not guaranteed by no, by no means. Ginyu has 6 hit points, he can take it. That would mean, yeah, I should probably pull the overwatch with somebody. So how about, huh, yeah, this is Trixie, I can't. Ideally, I would step out, go back to this style, and then move out, and that would pull the overwatch in high cover. Okay, we could pull it in this high cover by doing this maneuver. And then we could end up in this high cover. Completely crazy Ron Jeremy move. Or we could end up over here and grab the rate. That crate can wait. How many hit points? Five. Okay, well, not the worst, but... Okay, so... That... Didn't work. You pulled it in... in in, in the open somehow somehow you pulled it in the open okay and for some reason we still have movement point ah because I guess that was a blue move away for you um, okay Ian you have what do you have you have a regular sword twice okay so now we could command Ginyu for a shot on the Rocketeer I think I'm gonna do that can you do it from here no only from there oh well as max aggression max risk uh, you now go to I cover over here, command Ginyu. I guess that'll be okay. Oh, 
Okay, Ginyu, two disappointing shots. Make up for it. By an absolute murder. Boom. I think I got a piece. Nope. You're on a roll, I guess. I should just end turn because this is sort of exploiting the the thing. It's just that kind of day, yeah. Okay, I'll just end the turn so that I don't exploit exploit the the bug. So this is going to be painful. I expect. I'm delaying the inevitable. Letting the animation play. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he makes a zombie. That's cool. Hey! Uh, shots in low, co low cover. Is that suppression? There's the mark and now Ginyu gets hit three times, I would wager. Boom. There we go, that's one. This guy runs all the way back, shoots Ginyu. Yep, and now the Rocketeer goes back, shoots Ginyu. Ooh, misses a 44, okay. That that's what happens when you don't hit the shot. Okay, then. Still disoriented, why are you still disoriented? Doesn't go away after one turn. Shadow step does not trigger Overwatch or reaction fire. Only flesh from there. So you clearly need to fall back and hunker. I cover. There's nothing good I can do with you on this turn. Which means you can't flashbang, which means Lego Master have spent the command on a futile attempt for Ginyu to kill a guy. So you could flashbang those two. Now we have movement, like you are still disoriented, which means you can't use teamwork, that sucks. You couldn't back over there. Close enough for a grenade. Hmm. Okay, okay, so let's figure it out. Like I said, these missions, these missions, always something goes wrong on, the, on these missions. Um, you could go forward and flashbang those two.
Aha, okay, okay, okay. So I have, I have a, I see, I see, I see. So if, if you go and slice him, that leaves this spot open and that means Ron Jeremy can then go here and slice him. Ron Jeremy, it should be a kill. On the sectoid, 10 to 12, yes. Okay, so that's how we do it. So you have to go after him and hopefully, well, that's 93, you say. Aim, raise, suppression. Minus 25 from suppression. What if I... Oh, but if I move first, I won't be able to slice him because this is a dash move. Right? Like, I think if I just move, then I would have less mobility, but... We have extra move over there, so would I have enough... No, 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 I can't slice with Jeremy first, because Jeremy needs to go here to be in cover. And the problem is, you see, well, could exec... Oh, the question is, can Executor slice the Sectoid? I... I don't think he could. Like, could he get an extra tile of movement? Probably not. Yeah, I think I, I have... No, I, I, I can't, like... If I moved here first to get out of suppression... I don't know how much you lose. I know dash moves gives you extra mobility, but I don't know how much. So we kind of have to go do it. Do a 93. All right. Yeah, even a graze. Yep. Okay. Because the damage was so huge, even a graze. Okay, so now we're on Jeremy. And slice from cover. And you are still disoriented. Officer, if he wanted to move forward, he could get here and flank you. So let's go over here, I guess. Then Ginyu, we have two options. One is to go back and hunker. Another is to come here and then... Would you from here back line of sight? Probably. How many tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 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 that seems doable to me. Or not. Okay. But this is also hacking line of sight. And those guys are too far to actually get out to cover and see you. Unless this style. Officer can get to it. Trooper can get to it. Alternatively, this low cover hex line of sight. Way better. Let's do 
So the officer could see you only if he moved over there. Absolutely. Which I can make sure he doesn't by flashbanging him. Or by coming here and then... Could I flank him from all the way over here? No. Yeah, this is way too risky. Here you hack line of sight to those two guys. But also, in theory, risk activating the last pod. So, ha <coughs> flashbang the officer or... Modded maps for this mission specifically. I don't understand the question. flashbang or not to flashbang if I was here would I flashbang those two and if I don't flashbang anyone well that's kind of okay too I guess because they would come in and then shoot at our tank Elcor you're back Do you hear these guys? Here be snakes. Here be snakes. I can indeed not flashbang both of them, so I don't care. I'm just hang I'm just pulling back. Okay, let's see what happens. Are you you are going after oh, miss, okay. I'm pinned down here. You guys in high cover, okay. Oh come on! Well, at least you're not disoriented anymore. Ah, freaking Rocketeers. Ginyo, you left that Rocketeer alive. Look at what's happening now. So now we have the issue. I know the last pod is in that co corner, and then if I go for a kill on the guy with use of body point, we would activate them, and then executor is all the way over there exposed. Running in for a slice on the officer. Activates the last pod. Oh, Ginyu, you're like... Somebody else would have to heal you. So, I think we'll just use... I think maybe we just grab what we we have and just, just get out. This is becoming a little bit... I don't want to go forward. Activating more. So yeah, let's just fall back. Have these guys come closer. And then just get out with evac.
can grab this crate. Then come back to high cover. So the trick is to lure him forward, he needs to not see anyone. He doesn't see Ian, doesn't see Ginyu. What's over there? Put you over here, he doesn't see you either. However, he knows where everybody is because this one will have eyes on you. Uh, I can't click on these tiles for some reason. Yeah. Where's that officer? Over there? I grazed him for one. Twenty-two. So that was a twelve percent to graze, and he grazed. Awesome. We didn't really bait them <laughs> that much closer. We did get 8 crates, which is a decent result. So, you could heal Ginyu and Ginyu could be on Overwatch. This style can be flanked by nothing. I, I doubt I can get anyone on overwatch but okay heading out only if officer does some sort of weird run through This doesn't break Lana's sight this time around. There does this, okay. How about this? Yes. I'm trusting you here. Oh, 
Then Ron Jeremy needs to break Lana's sight. Well. Damn it. Uh, where's that officer now? Ah, he's behind that. Pull over there. Okay, that means. No line of sight here? Yes, but no line of sight here. Wait, uh, the pull, the pull, the pull. Okay, but if I'm here, can I be flanked by this guy? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, he... Hmm. Potentially he could run here and flank us. Oh well, let's just fall all the way back. Double move. Okay. The officer is over here. If you say so. That guy is over there. Okay, Ginyo, I think maybe. Can you get a second chance? Yes, Ginyo, second chance. Redemption is at hand, Ginyo. There we go! Hit for seven! When he had three hit points, yes. That's how this game works. Just when we don't need it. Ginyu goes clutch. Really? Huh. Can we get a slice from this side with... Jeremy? Yes, we can. Okay, I'd rather do that. You can't really be sliced through cover. Uh, you still have 8 hit points versus hers 3 and 2, 5. Send you over here. Oh no, that's the wrong character. Oh well. Executor. Like, you gonna mark me? No, you don't mark me. I mark you. Permanently. What's over there? Moving out. I'm on it. Okay, so we lose these two, but it's okay. Eight crates. Eight crates is a decent result, considering we had a weird activation at absolutely maximum distance. Oh, and they do activate. Triple snakes. Ah, uh, an executor is out in the open. And there's the yellow alert shot. Oh yeah, he's protected. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Oof. Okay, so killing these snakes is just experience. Uh, can we do it easily? No graze whatsoever. So that's a kill. Seven to nine. That's a kill. Nope, you can't reach. You can't reach. Yeah, we can't kill. We can kill two of them.
And the third one is by no means guaranteed. Ouch. So, you know what? Let's just leave these three experience on the table and be out of here. Can we be out of here, though? Yes. Moving on target location. Closing on target position now. Good to go. I guess that'll be okay. I mean, are fortunate about the wounds. But a decent result, you know. Oh, we got two ability points for a difficult mission. How am I planning to kill Cho? I don't. I don't think this campaign can go that far. I don't think you can go that far with with the uh, even now our enemy with this this composition to with only shinobis like i want to liberate a region with shinobis only that's a minor victory that i'm happy with and then we can keep push forward just to see where the breaking point would be but killing the chosen the coffins you would have to send i guess all the guys that have two shoots the, the rangers with light them up you know pistoleros as well fan fire uh, you would have to send pistoleros and and rangers look at this 21 28 Ugh. that freaking rocket um Combat intelligence high, rapid deployment, free flashbang. 20 points, okay, you don't have them yet. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. What time is it? 11. Oh, you got... Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just got promoted. Therefore, you can be an officer. Paying you for incoming. Okay, that's good. Now, what else is happening? Uh, yeah, these guys... Now we got some wounds. We can't really... From the characters that just ended the mission, we don't have enough to create the Network Tower mission. And now we have many, many wounds. So I want to go back to the hospital. Also, you know what? Let's let's send some, sell some stuff. They're still reinforcing this region. Oh, it went down to seven, but now they're bringing it back to eight. That's fine. You guys pour your strength in that region. That's fine by me. How much do we need for the infirmary? 150? Hmm, 150. Oh, still a proving ground. Well, we could do proving ground now. Strength dropped to three, so that strength came from over here. Awesome. Now this one is a ten to twelve. Okay, so that one we're dropping to seven to nine. Uh, 
Aha, supplies and Thor promoted as as was foretold. So now we don't have a staff sergeant. Uh, staff sergeant is the elf. The elf is in the mission. The mission will be available. in two days three days okay so let me have a look at the things that we have we have intel in six days steel corpses in seven days yeah i don't really particularly care like intel is fine all the other things are kind of we can live without them. So I'm thinking we do gather intel and then the elf comes out of the mission. And then we send the elf to locate skirmishers. Six days. When's the next supply drop? Eleven days. Yeah, so we would send that, send that, and open up the third thingy. Uh third set of missions after the drop. Okay, so Intel, and then afterwards, hopefully, locate skirmishers. Ambush 31. So you are now trial by fire. You're his body. Okay, you guys don't go there. Also, you are sergeant, so you might go on a good mission. Tower mission, one might say. Bundolo is actually a sneak. He's got covert, so he could sneak in to click the button. We have Executor. His body is wounded. Oh well. Executor is a sergeant. Uh, Pepe. So this mission will be done soon. Pepe is a tank. Yeah, Sony will get out as well. So we would have one, two, three, four, five. Two of which are shooters. Double shoots. Arc blade. We give you arc blade, I guess. Hmm, yeah, we could. We could do the tower with, with these guys. Which means we would need to send... Ha! Huh, two lieutenant corporals. Um, can they even do it? Let me just promote four first. What are the odds? Yeah, Ginyu is not wounded for 20 days. Okay, so we can send four, no problem. And big boy. The odds are 83%. 31% for ambush. Oof. 83%. 83% is, I guess, good enough. I don't want to send those higher level characters right now because we I want to do the tower mission. ASAP. So, I guess you guys are going in. Oh, you even have a freaking laser rifle. This laser rifle has been sitting on a low level guy this whole time. Wow. Completely didn't know about it. Okay. We have nothing. Okay, I'll send you guys and the laser rifle. Because I think Sony has his own. Spiegel Eye has his own. Those would be the shooters on the mission. Yep. 
Okay, so let's do it. The alternative is to not do it. And then just send... In three days, send... The elf, unless she gets wounded, to find the guys. Ah, more intel is... Well, 83 is good enough. But let's do it. 83 is really good. So... It is what it is. Okay. Confirm. Boom. Twelve hours. Data. Basic research done. Now we need magnetic weapons. Guys are at 7 to 9. Okay, and this is how we end the stream today. Boom, last mission. Click. Dog and a cat sleeping on a couch. <laughs> a day in the country. We visited my parents this weekend. So they spent a day in fresh air. And look at them. And destroy the target. Just sleeping blissfully. Um, okay, so. This is where we're going. Thanks for the stream. Good night, Lurkafab. <laughs> You're going to sleep. Okay, uh, good, good sleep to you. And I will finish the stream after this. So, 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 so. Voy hacia ese lugar. We found something. Objetivos enemigos a la vista. We found a split. Ooh. Ten hit points. Ten hit points. Yeah, well, they upgraded uh, hit points of some units. The game just said dark event. But it's a split pod, apparently. Me dirijo allí. Okay, so you have the arc blade. We have one arc blade and one laser rifle, if I recall correctly. That is what we have on this mission. Good to go. Hmm, no idea how this will work. With the split pod. What? You could have sliced? Wow. Some mobility. <clears throat> that is some mobility. Voy hacia allá. Recibido. Estoy vigilando. Oh, they're ca ooh, 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 ooh. It's a freaking flamer. And t 10 HP gunner. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that's a mech. Now, I wonder, oh, since they are all the way over there. What was this? This was 7 to 9. What if we didn't care about these guys? What if we just let them over there? And went through the train and then fought all the stuff over here. So they are kind of out of the way. And that being a flamer, <laughs> I don't want to mess with that. Now, the, the, the doors. Oh, one. Oh, come on. On the other hand, Sony has a 92. That's an 82.
So yeah, this one can be... S oh! And there is a drone. That's three enemies. We could potentially fully avoid. Or they could make our life miserable when when they come back you know what let's just let's just let's just fight let's just fight sonny give him there we go max roll boom explodey that's how you do it okay and then 97 on the drone ah well you exploded the guy. I'm not I'm not too unhappy. So, 10 hit points. Seven to nine. Ah, seven hit points. So that's a kill. Position comprometida. There we go. Hmm. Ability is 15 on you. I guess everybody has 15 mobility. Um. Keep concealment on you. I guess. Then Optimist can actually open the door in concealment next turn. Head in there now. Oh, we need to throw evac. Don't forget that. This is a mission with evac throwing. do this move just to scout a little bit okay we saw nothing okay Just stay here. Eyes on the prize. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Okay, so no movement, no sound indication, nothing. That's affirmative. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 
Location confirmed. A ello voy. Ven y verás. Affirmative, covering There's now. something out there. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. La próxima ropa de hoy. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's been a while since we got the Stun Lancer. Come on, we need more swords. Immediately? Oh, come on, man. Okay, so the reinforcements are yellow and this is six enemies. Now, where the hell would be the last pod? Over there? Started over here. There was a pod here. This pod was all the way over there, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. We got no sound indication that they would be here, so I'm assuming over there, which means running forward. Risks activating. Do we have? Where's our arc blade? Over here. Philosopher's stone. 10 to 14. You don't have cutthroat, so that is 10 to 14. That is 8 to 12. You could be commanded to slice twice if the guy doesn't die, but how do we deal with the mech? Oof, Sony has bad shots. Okay. Um, Sony could move forward and shoot the mech once, bringing him low enough to be finished off with a sword. Okay. But. <clears throat> how about you? We'll go for a slice eight to ten. Yeah, when we drop the, the, the shield he dies. However the last pod has to be there. Playing defensively won't basically do anything for us, I don't think. So let's say you go after him and that's a command, that's two guys. Sony moving forward and shooting three guys. You go. All the way, that's four guys, and that would mean Commissar would need to finish off the mech with seven to nine. I mean. <sighs> And your body is Commissar, and he can get there in, in blue move. This is all pretty terrible. So, you know what? If... Hmm. Oscar Mike, does he do anything for us? Not really. Oh well. That is what it is. We just run in like crazy maniacs and... Whatever happens, happens. I'm spotted. Oh. Armor still holding. Objective located. Look at where the. They've seen me. Well. This is interesting. Okay, so optimize. Yeah, we're we're just gonna have to leave all this alive, basically. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. These three will need to be left alive. Nothing I can do about it. So you need to go over here. That shield needs to drop. Uh, you can command. You could even go 
over here if you wanted to. Good thing is we can we can do cover. Like when I command him, he can go to slice from that side, and then he's in high cover. Slice on the robot can be in high cover, and even the slice on this guy could be. Oh, well, let me see. Let me see. That was supposed to be Pepe. However, now with the muton. Could we get away with Pepe just being planted over there? Like, what if Optimus actually goes in for a slice himself? That's a 96 to kill him. Then, as we said, Sony moves forward. Shoot the robot. Well, ah, the robot needs to go down. But the, oh, then there's no, there's nobody to kill the guy all the way over there, right? Yeah, only only you can do that. Well, you could do it with Oscar Mike. However, you can't do both Oscar Mike and Command, because then you'll be shot by a sector. Okay, so the original plan stands, and then I guess... Huh. If I put, if I put you here, then this guy's gonna drop a grenade. Just gonna have to let him do whatever he wants. Which means it's a Command. Command from in order for you to slice yep you can slice from high cover as long as we don't put optimist in your way optimist this high cover can he command No, <clears throat> no line of sight. This, yes. However, what is this guy likely to do? He's likely to stay where he is and just shoot. Let me just check his mobility real quick. Well, they do like to. They did. Hmm. He run out. They don't have bayonet charge. The Centurions have those. Oh, but he can still charge somebody with a blue move. Or rather, he can. Sometimes they move and then they attack in melee because they love to do that. So, what's his blue move? Blue move is such that he could attack over there. But if we're just standing flanked, he, he has no reason to do that. Okay, right, okay, forget about it, forget about it. Um... Yeah, I can go here after you actually go and slice all the way over there so that we don't impede your mobility in any way. Okay, do that first. Oh crap, I didn't kill the... The whole point was to kill the guy! Ah, oh, Yep, tired brain. Tired brain. Absolutely. The whole point was to drop the shield first. Now we're 
we're gonna have a guy all alive over there. Sonny! Gotta do better. <sighs> Hit for nine. We need a max roll now. Nope, mineral. Okay, so this is. On times. Ah, taking heavy damage. Ah, me han dado bien. Incoming fire. Well, nobody's dead. There's that. Okay, so you go over there. Kill him. Sony wakes up. Sony shoots the robot. Pepe goes to stand next to the guy. Or we flashbang him and then slice him, okay? Um, who can flashbang you, okay? But you could also probably slice the other sectoid. Yes, so he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. And you kill this guy. Yeah, 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 okay, so, 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 recap, Philosopher kills the Sectoid, Optimist kills the Sectoid, Sony kills the, the robot, uh, Commissar kills Engineer, and Pepe just stands next to the guy, okay, make it so. One damage. Okay, so next turn we'll be able to shoot the relay. <laughs> that was a nice hit. Okay, so now we flashbang and we could. Oh, we don't really. Don't really. What do we? What do we really? If I flashbang him, I can smack him with a sword. Or Sonic could just kill him if he had a flanking shot, but I went to the other side. 
so that I can shoot the relay twice. Okay. So simplest way to kill him would be to, to flashbang. And the next turn we could slash slash on the relay. Why am I doing this? You can't have a friendly. Okay. Oh well, <clears throat> wounds are inevitable reality of shinobis only. This was just weird, like, like <laughs> this pod didn't make a sound, didn't move, didn't make a peep over here, and then that pod was over there. They've got friends. They got friends. Please drop a stun lancer so that we get that at least. Transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Allá voy. It's killing time. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Got it covered. Poniendo en guardia. En guardia. Nope, two sentries. Oh well. I've got eyes on an admin position. Is that good? Eso no es nada. No good. That's how it's done. However, what if we wait for one more set of reinforcements? This is Firebrand. It's Maybe time to go. next time they drop in the guys. It's only two, so next time it will be three. Only the best. The best indeed. Whatever you say. Claro que sí. Supongo que está bien. Empieza la fiesta. Not a problem. You'll be fine. At least we could have a look. Ya voy. Te pondrás bien. Okay, we're standing in the evac. There is zero risk. So let's have a look. See. Good to go. Looks like they called in backup. Nope. Okay. Admin forces on the ground. However, I mean, they're going to make it this easy for us. Might as well wait for the next wave because I'm I'm finishing the stream anyway. Let's 
79. Really? Oh, he's got Lone Wolf and stuff. A sergeant shouldn't have Lone Wolf. You know that was good. Yeah, yeah. It was good, it was good. Fine. Seems doable. Come on, one stun lancer. Just one little stun lancer. Get one more sword. Looks like they called it back up. Back in. Gotta go. Oh, he's got a watch. No, they refuse. They are wise. They are wise to our ways. They just refuse to send us stun lancers. Oh well. We tried. Come on. For a difficult mission. What was this mission? I don't know. I'll take it. I don't even. Oh, I think it was sealed armor. Maybe we couldn't use flames, which we don't even have anyway. Oof. Okay. So wounds again. But mission complete. Intel and intel package. 15, 14, 7. Not that bad. Staff sergeant. I get I get I'm getting staff sergeants and, and I'm getting them wounded. Ay ay ay. Okay, so blade storm for sure. On a tanky guy. Got throat on you and then shadow step on you. Fan scope. Cool. Okay, guys, that would be it. That would be it for today. It's almost midnight, so we finish the stream with again. It was like like five minutes ago. There was nobody wounded. Six, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are closer to our goal of liberating a mission, a region. Because we do have the network tower unlocked. Another smash and grab with decent timer. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, let me just so that I don't forget by the next Sunday. Let me just quickly do this. Also, we have enough intel to open another region. And this can be a troop trainer because Bundolo is here. So you guys are buddies. This is 10 to 12, 6 and 22. I guess it would stay 10 to 12. It is freaking abandoned city and crates. Yay. So again, 10 to 12 in crate city. So <laughs> it's all squaddies. <clears throat> sergeant, Sergeant. Okay, Optimist, you are not. Uh, 62 out of 70. But next mission will probably promote you anyway. 10, 15, 10, 15, 12, 15. Lurker Pub can be promoted in the... In the thing. Okay, so still... Guaranteed promotion. And you... Now, that's five for ten to twelve, and I suppose that's how it would stay. Yeah. It's 
So if I'm taking two rookies, this is sort of... Uh... Well, if we do its abandoned city, we could just grab like four or five crates. Take guaranteed promotions, be out of there. Yeah, just, just, just grab, yeah, early crates, get out of there. I think that's the plan for this mission. Troop trainer. Make it super easy, or rather super cautious. Could even give you guys, yeah, yeah, flashbang. Primary mission of primary goal for this mission would be experience. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to get all the crates. Um, however, optimist. Four days. Ah, if that's the case. We go full rookie. Or rather get the promotion on you as well. So double frag grenades. Yeah, we just we just bombed the first thing that we see, first pod. Hang back. Grab four crates, get out. Flashbang if they they are you can kill the drone if it shows up. Three hit points on you. Do I still have that one? Yeah, I do. So let's make that at least four then. And then on you, we already gave you a shooty thing. Okay, and that plus three I need to give to somebody else. Um, so yeah, we'll try to make this a troop trainer. Grab a few crates, get out. I'm sure it will play out exactly like that. Ooh, okay, so we'll do that. We'll do that next time. So, we are done for the day. I don't really know what to talk about today, other than last weekend. In the outro, I said uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really ramping up all the attempts to make myself win, win life with skill. So I took out eating bread, and I didn't eat bread or pasta or anything like that for two weeks. And then this weekend, I visited my mother, and my mother's cooking is like the greatest temptation of all times. <laughs> so I ate bread. And I ate her strudel with apples and cherries. So, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Now, like, there's no bread in the house. I don't buy it. So I will continue doing it and next visit. I mean, it's my birthday tomorrow, I forgot. Yeah. That's why I ate the cake. That's why I ate the sugar and, and bread. It's my birthday tomorrow. 45. Imagine that. It's my birthday tomorrow and I didn't know what to talk about. 45. So I am truly middle-aged now, halfway there to the end of my life. I do expect to live to 90, no problem. And like I said, I'm changing the diet, I'm, I'm, I'm exercising. I have finally, when it comes to trading, I have actually... I have four types of trade trades and they are written down with the, the, all the rules for their execution. Um, it's a grind like it just keeps life just keeps reminding me that whatever I want to achieve it will take a long time and it will be very slow and an incremental progress but the alternative is to never change for the better and just be miserable uh, because you have the awareness of everything that's wrong with you and then if you don't do anything about it at least in my case I just feel bad about it like I know all my flaws 
and if I don't work on fixing them, it's way wor worse than just saying, ah, who cares? You know, I'll be dead in 45 years. I don't need to improve. I don't need to get better. Eight minutes till birthday. Well, I mean, technically, but I think I was I was born, I think, 7.15 in the morning. So it's more like seven hours and 23 minutes till actual, actual anniversary of me coming into the world. Happy Wolf Day. So yeah, I'm just like, I'm listening to, to lectures. Guys, listen, waking up application, uh, Sam Harris, waking up. It's, a, it's an app you can download to your phone so many fantastic lectures out there they're giving you all the tools to figure out why you can't work on your goals what's really happening uh what's preventing you from from achieving whatever you want to achieve and why you fail stuff waking up it, it changes lives that application like just listen to everything that's out there and it's all superbly superbly helpful so as always thank you guys for hanging out this campaign is fun. <clears throat> we will continue next Sunday. Uh, I don't think I'll be streaming Fridays during the summer because it's just we're always doing something. And uh, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm abandoning Fridays for summertime, <coughs> for summer season. So definitely see you next Sunday when I am apparently one year older and much much wiser, getting wiser by the day. Thank you, and I'll see you then. Bye.